Good morning. This morning we are looking at double exposure and how to create work like the French duo Elmo. So you can see here I've done a couple <coughs> of Rashford with a line in the background. Here's some of Elmo's work so that I can just show you some little bits about what they do. And it is really, really simple. So we should have learned a little bit about the blending tool, etc. already with the uh, double exposure like this. So this one is even easier than that. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to find a black and white version, black and white image of a celebrity. Uh, right click it, copy, go into Photoshop. We're going to open a new document and then we're just going to paste that in, like so. And then we're going to find a black and white image to go on top. So obviously, oh, that's too big, so I'm just going to transform that, Control and T. So you see here, I've got layer 1 and I've got layer 2. And I've got Elijah Wood on the bottom and Gollum on the top. And then you can see I can move either of these. And then all I'm going to do is just double click on the layer. And then what you get is you get the layer style here. So as you can see, it's already on blending options. So on the blending options, I'm just going to get rid of the red channel. And you can see that Elijah Wood comes through on Gollum. So I'm going to do one with Gollum on the top, and I'll do one with Elijah Wood on the top so you can see both. Okay, so that looks quite creepy. So there's one example. And then obviously, if you just go backwards, what you can do is you can put Elijah Wood on the top, and do the same again. So you double click the layer, you get the layer style. And then up in blending options, just take away that red channel. And again, you get going on top. So now you can see that I can actually move Elijah Wood like that. Just one going a little bit that way. And then obviously, if you wanted to. You could go onto the layer and change the opacity a little bit to let it come through a bit more if you wanted to. And if you wanted it kind of there, could do the like. <coughs> Let's put a larger wood on the bottom bit. Gollum poking over. Good. You can maybe use the rubber tool to just rub that bottom bit out. Maybe not that far. Let's just get it up to his neck. Look. change your opacity so you kind of blend it into Elijah Wood's face and you can see that it's like Gollum staring over his shoulders ok so that is pretty much as easy as you can get <coughs> so I just typed in celebrity on black background obviously you get a lot better work and uh, it looks a lot better if you use your own photography but there's loads of pictures already out there of celebrities on black background. There's Anna de Armas, she's about to win an Oscar. So let's just try and do her. So once again, you just paste your celebrity in there, not your celebrity, your image in there. Okay, so you paste a picture of your celebrity in there. And holding an Oscar. You 
you can actually use the cutting tool to, to cut the uh, the image or whatever you want if you can't find right, so I'm just going to get rid of that layer so I've got one layer, two layers, ok I'm just going to in this layer Computer is being very, very slow. So once again, double click on the layer, get rid of that red channel. Sure. Look like so. Even. So that stands up. What you could do is you could on a separate one. Put canvas vertically. Oh, not vertically even. Horizontally. If you go to image rotation, horizontally. And then again, with the rubber tool, just make it a little bit bigger. Make sure you're on the right layer as well. <coughs> In fact, you can just get off it. And you can see that this can be done in just a few minutes. Just try your hardest to come up with some like responses. Don't just drop an animal in on someone's face so this is like what Helmo does because it looks better if you think about it try and make it a little bit arty so you can see here uh, the armless is up for a second Oscar so that's kind of like a response for that and you've got your layers like that ok if you wanted to screenshot that chuck it into your powerpoint just remember shift windows and s and then just grab it and then once putting that into your powerpoint explain how you've done it okay and you see in my examples I've included all of the boxes you try and do that okay all right thank you very much